Okay, this is the first in a series of quick fusion tutorials. This one we're going to cover beveled gears. As you can see on the six wheeler that I did recently, there's quite a few of these beveled gears. They weren't ones that I just download and modeled each one of these, and I'll show you how I did it. So, uh, the first thing to start with is we need a gear to create uh, as a starting point. Now, within Fusion, under Tools and Add-ins, there's a number of scripts and things that you can you can download out of, for uh, for Fusion 360. One of them is Spur Gear, which is what I use, and that will allow you to create gears. If I hit Run, it'll then ask me a lot of questions. This particular gear I'm going to start with, I'm going to use a module of 5, a number of teeth of 10, and the module times the number of teeth gives me my pitch diameter. It's different than the diameter of the gear. The pitch diameter is the mesh diameter, which is 50 millimeters. So we'll keep that nice and simple. Click OK. Uh, don't worry about the error message. And what we've actually got then is a nice 10 pin, uh, 10 tooth gear, which is done as a component. Again, I quite like direct modeling. Uh, I've already turned the timeline off, um, which I tend to do on most of these things. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. There we go. And what that does is it takes out components and puts it into bodies. And I can just work on the bodies themselves. So the <clears throat> first thing I'll do is look at it from the front. I want to get it to the right orientation. So I'm just going to move it. Um, set paper, where should we put it from there, like that. And I'm just going to. I just want to get it on its side like so. Okay. Right. So 45 degree angled gear. So the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm pressing the C button, but I'm going to draw a circle on this flat face here, uh, just as a point of reference from the center to the 50 mil, which as we said, was the mesh diameter. There's a mesh diameter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a straight line up and it all will become apparent like that. Finish sketch. Um, and what that then gives me is a place where I can actually start to draw what the 45 degree will look like. So from here, now I want to construct a plane at an angle. I'm going to click on that line I've just drawn. So now if you look, I've got a plane that just goes straight across that gear there. OK, click OK. And that all will become apparent why I'm actually doing this. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a disappearing point for this 45 degree angle. So again, I'm going, I've gone back into sketch. I'm now going to do a line and I'm going to draw a line on this plane that I've just created. Okay. So as a point of reference, I've got that center of this first circle. Um, so I will create project, get that, that thing onto this, onto this flat plane, which will give me a point, which is the center of that gear. And then I'm going to press L to, for the line tool or select line tool as you do from create up here. And from that center point of that gear there, looking at it from the front, I'm going to draw out 25 millimeters. The reason I'm drawing 25 millimeters out is that that, oops, is, that is actually the half the distance um, of the gear mesh i'll do 25 millimeter up so there so and the reason i'm the reason i'm doing this is i want to try and get an understanding of what that 45 degree angle is so the mesh of the gear is going to follow this 45 degree angle here which means what i want to do is and I'll, I'll show you why why that's quite important now the other thing the thing i'm going to do very quickly here and there's different ways of doing this i'm going to do a circle and all will become apparent two millimeter circle there, there we go, which will give me a point, right, point, one millimeter in, finish, sketch. So what that's done now is, is that's, that's what I'm gonna, what I, what I plan to do is I'm gonna loft the gear to that point. Um, there's some complexities with loft and, and so I tend to do it on a separate plane um, rather than doing it on the plane that the gear's on, I'm going to pull the plane back one mil. Hence why I pulled that point back one mil. If I go on construct, offset planes, click on this face here, and I'm just going to offset that by one mil. I've now got a plane which I can draw on that's one mil off that gear. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, draw a... I've just pressed the L, and I use keyboard shortcuts, draw a line on, and, and select that um, plane. And I'm going to project this entire gear onto that plane like that, okay? 
So what that's given me now is it's given me a replica of this gear, a sketch of this gear on just on a plane that's one millimeter off and I've pulled that back one millimeter. So I'm off, I'm off, off by about one mil right the way across the whole thing. Um, and now I've pretty much got everything that I need to do that 45 degree gear. So what I'll do is I'll hide the gear that's there. I'll delete this 50 mil circle because I don't really need that as such. Um, and what I can do is delete that center circle there. So I've got a nice uh, selectable sketch. And then what I'm going to do is click on create and I'm going to click on loft. And I'm going to loft this sketch to this tiny point here, one mil off. And what that will do is it will take the gear and it locked it at 45 degrees to a center disappearing point, which will give me a perfect 45 degree angled gear. Okay. Um, so that was my original gear. That's my new gear. Now, if I want to now, I can modify a line. I'll just, I'll just push this back, that extra mil, so I'm going to align the face of this with the face of the original gear. Click OK. And now the new gear is in place where the original gear was. So what we do is, I'll just tidy up a little bit, delete sketches as I go along, so I'm a bit lazy like that. Go from the top, um, first thing I want to do is I'm just going to create a little point of reference, going to create a second gear now that meshes it up with this one. Um, so create, um, sorry, sketch just on that, um, on that plane, create point, actually no, I'm going to, I'm going to project point because I want, I want the exact beautiful point of that little bit there okay um, and then what I'm going to do is take that body I'll finish sketch uh, take that body copy it I will right click and paste it and then when it's pasted I'm going to select the pivot point as being that little dot that I've created there, there we go in the top tick the box I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees like that there we go it's 90 degree okay so what i've actually created now is i've created two um i've created two gears that effectively are meshed now as you can see they overlap there's 10 teeth one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so what i need to do is rotate one of these gears by 36 degrees which is 360 divided by 10 i think uh, click that onto center there, take that and just do that, say about 36 degrees. Uh, oops, why is that I've done that? Is it 36 to 18? I get mixed up with these things. Yeah, 18, of course, because I'm set offsetting it by about a half. Right, so what you can see now by offsetting that, what I've actually created is two gears, 45 degree beveled gears, as we said, um, that are actually meshed. And if I do an inspect um, sectional, uh, sectional analysis, I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just show you how that mesh works as you go further into the gear. You can see it's perfectly meshed all the way along, right the way to when it disappears, and right the way back again. So there you go. That's your gears done. Um, and then what I would typically do is just do, I don't know, say uh, an offset plane, um, let's chop it off a little bit, just tidy these up. So, what's that? We'll do a 10 mil thick gear. 10 mil, okay. Um, modify split body that one with that plane that just created and delete that piece. This is direct modeling, it makes it a lot easier doing stuff like this. Probably not the best way of doing it, but hey ho. And then, modif uh, construct offset plane, do the same again, minus 10. Um, click OK, modify split body. Whoops, modify um, split body. Click on that, select that new plane, click OK, um, and delete that one there. So, right, and then what we'll do is we'll just get rid of that construct, get rid of all of those constructs because I just tidy up as we go along. Same with the sketches, get rid of them. OK, so now what we have, if I get rid of the origins, is we've now got two gears that are all perfectly meshed together. So all I need to do really is put a little bit of a hole in the middle of one of them, say 10 mil. Um, there we go, and then just highlight that, pull it, pull that through there, like that, and then do the same on this side. Um, so this this is just really tidied up now once we've got the actual mesh of the gears together. Oops, today's a um, 
So if you press pull. No, normally I'd just model one gear and rotate it, but it's quite good fun for you to see it twice, I guess. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to do a circle on here, which um, I'll do at 50 mil like that. Um, and the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to modify split body. I'm just going to chop this off at 50 mil like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is probably highlight most of those teeth. Um, if I can find out which, which way to highlight it like that, there we go, delete those. Um, so that it just tidy it up a little bit and then do a similar thing on this side. Whoops, a daisy uh, circle on this plane, 50 mil like that, finish sketch, modify, split body, uh, select that circle and then similarly select the teeth do that, and then delete that. So what we've ended up now is I have now created you two beautiful beveled gears uh, which have a 50 centimeter mesh point. Uh, they've been smoothed off around the edges and they've got a, they've got a 10 mil hole that you can put a shaft through or whatever you want to do. Um, and effectively the first part of creating the gearbox which we uh, which we did for for these ones that are sat inside here. Obviously we put extensions and drill holes on those particular ones. Uh, but it gives you a good idea on how we created bevel gears. Hopefully that was useful.